Welcome to game week four of the Fish Sports Marble Race Premier League. If you don't know the rules by now, then please do check out the start of the videos for game weeks one, two or three, as we'll be going straight into the action from this game week onwards. Let's get going right away with game week number four. Game week four, match one, we have here Southampton versus uh, Man United. Southampton start the season reasonably well, three points from their first three games. Not great, but out the bottom three right now, Man United with one win and two draws in the top half of the table, not too far out of the top five at present. But who will win this one here? Can Southampton get themselves a nice little home win and push themselves at least briefly into the top half of this Marble Race Premier League uh, top ten? Whatever I just said there, or will it be Man United moving themselves into the top four for the time being? They'll actually move up to fourth in this opening game of game week four should they get a victory here. But it's Southampton making the early running here already with one marble down to the final obstacle. An early goal here could put Man United under pressure because they're nowhere to be seen just yet. They can't break through and we've seen this all too many times on this course with this final obstacle. They're trying to make some progress here. They've snuck one through. Could we get a shock result here in the opening match of game week four? The time is ticking down. It's 1-1. One, one. Is there time for another goal or are we going to see a 1-1 one, one draw in the opening fixture? It's going to be 1-1. One, one. Match number two, we have Brighton at home versus Ipswich Town. Brighton mid-table, four points from their opening three games. Ipswich with three points from their opening three games here. Will we get a shock here or can Brighton see a home victory through and get themselves currently, yes, yeah, sitting mid-table. They can sneak temporarily into the top four here, but obviously all the other games still to play. But Ipswich Town making the early running here. By the look of it, they've got a few down already ahead of Brighton. There's one Brighton one there, but behind them, two Ipswich ones not far behind. They've got a good run here, but it looks to be dying a death, and they've dropped into the red zone. We know what an awful course this final bit is for really screwed up everyone. I'm not quite sure how Brighton even got through. I'd given that one up, but he's made it through. Brighton with the opening goal, and the clock is ticking. They're going to get another one here, Shirley. 2 0 Brighton. This one's going to be dead and buried. This one finishes Ipswich nil, Brighton 2. Or even Brighton 2, Ipswich 0. Match 3 of game week 3 is Crystal Palace hosting Leicester City. Crystal Palace and Leicester both not doing great at the start of the season. Palace 3 points from 3 games. Leicester 2 points from 3 games. Both these guys just outside the bottom 3 right now. A big match here to pull one of these teams uh, hopefully into at least mid-table at present. We'll see how it goes though. Palace doing alright in the moment but there's 3 Leicester marbles right behind them. So this is definitely one that can go either way. And as we know... This horrible final obstacle on this tier three, on this tier three map for the kind of like the mid table teams can be problematic for everyone. This last little section is vile and it's already costing these guys dear. This Palace one's got some momentum here and it's not made it though. The Leicester marble is through. Could we get an upset on the cards here? We could do. It may still happen. The time is ticking down. We may even get another Leicester one through. No, it's going to be a 1 0 victory by the look of it. It is. That one's not going to make it. This one finishes. Crystal Palace nil, Leicester one. Match number four seems Fulham at home to West Ham. Fulham have started well so far. Five points in their opening three games. West Ham currently rock bottom. Three games, three losses. Just two goals scored, ten conceded. A minus eight goal difference and rock bottom of the league. The only team to yet pick up a point after three matches. And Fulham look like they're going to be trying to do this again to West Ham here. These two are rocking it clear so far. They're going to get a couple of shots at this early, but again, this, this final obstacle, if one of these Fulham marbles gets in early, there's three of them now rocking through ahead of all West Ham ones. Oh, there's good momentum here again. Oh, no, West Ham going to get screwed again. No, not just yet, they're not. These guys are bouncing around pretty well. This one's going to surely make it through. Oh, no, West Ham are in trouble yet again, boys. The clock is ticking. They're already 2-0 down here. Can these two surge through and straight from the draw? One has. Is there enough time for an equaliser? No! Oh dear, this one finishes the Fulham 2, West Ham 1, and West Ham make it four losses in a row at the start of this season. Match number five is Liverpool at home to Nottingham Forest. Liverpool have not started great so far as one of the favourites of the league. Just three points from three games to them, while Forest have started much better. Five points in their opening three games. And these two teams really do clash on here quite horribly with their, with their red and whites a little bit. But they're in Liverpool! Just Liverpool marbles everywhere. Where are Forest? Liverpool marbles are just absolutely dominating this early stages of this contest. Three of them that already not a Forest, not a Forest marble in sight at this point. This is looking like a problem, as as you know, with this battle with the balance of the um, uh, the marbles here. Eleven Liverpool marbles versus the six marbles for Forest. That one's gone the wrong way. Where's everyone else? And here come more Liverpool marbles descending. Surely one of these is going to fall the right way. Not yet they are. This one is right. This one is surely already over now. There's not, I've not even seen a Forest Marvel all, all contest. What is going on here? 
this one is done, but just, it's just a matter of how many. Thank God for them. This was not another map. They'd have got battered. This one's going to finish 1-0, but it could have been a lot worse there for Forrest than that. Match number six sees Man City at home to Brentford. Man City on six points from three games so far, looking pretty solid. Brentford on three points from three games. Not awful, but not great either. But Man City, as one of the title favourites this year, will be needing to get some more points on the board. With three teams currently unbeaten, with three wins out of three, that being Newcastle, Chelsea and Villa. The chasing pack are not going to want to get caught adrift and eat, cut adrift. And even Man City, with their uh, their advantage of having the 11 marbles every match, will still need to want to, will still want to keep that points difference down as much as possible, even at this early stage. Two marbles going out of here in this tricky final obstacle course. This one, I think, is one of the worst ones on the entire on the entire map. This one, this is vile. Like really, really hard for any marbles to get down here. It does keep the scores quite low, which is a uh, not ideal for these big teams. But Man City about to drop some points in here. Just the one, but there's a couple of Brentford marbles that could ruin this. Can we get a shock result? Is there time for one more to fall down? This is a disaster. Man City are going to lose at home to Brentford. Oh, my word. The little nudge there at the end there. And Brentford, a shock. 2-1 defeat away at Man City. They come away with this one. 2-1. Match 7 is Villa at home to Everton. Villa with three wins out of three. Joint top of the league along with Newcastle and Chelsea right now. While Everton currently sitting with six points off their first three games. Sitting just outside the top four. Surprisingly high for Everton. Will that last across the course of the season? I hope not if I'm being honest. Not a massive fan of Everton. But uh, yeah, who knows? They've started pretty well here again though. But Villa, one of the only three unbeaten teams. Oh sorry, not unbeaten. One of the only three teams not to have dropped any games. In fact, they had one of them. Well, one of four unbeaten teams, but one of only three have won all their first three games. That being Newcastle, Chelsea and Villa at the moment. And here they go again. They've only conceded one goal already also so far in this competition. A very, they've been very prolific on this downhill little section in this final, uh, of this final part of the map as well. Three Villa marbles coming through here. Surely one of these guys is going to drop through and kill off this Everton team. Now Everton are back in it though, and this would be a shock if they came through with a win here. There's so many marbles lining up here. This is making this very unpredictable now. Just need one to scrape through here, and no one's making it again. We've had this before in this course. One for Villa, and now the clock is counting down. We may get an upset here, because there's lots of Everton balls here. This is not good. It's 2-1, it's 2-2. It's gonna finish 2-2, barring a shocking end. It is. Drop points for Villa here. This one finishes Aston Villa 2, Everton 2. Match 8 is Bournemouth at home versus Chelsea. Bournemouth currently uh, in the bottom three. One point from their first three games. While Chelsea, three wins from three so far, having not yet even conceded a goal. So, massive match here for Bournemouth to get anything out of this one with Chelsea being so dominant. Have a, looking at the line of marbles above, Bournemouth have got quite a few in tow there. Although then the rest behind them are then Chelsea again. So these first two marbles here for Chelsea, crucial if either of these guys can make it down this bottom end of this course first time a very good chance of a victory but if they let the full Bournemouth balls then this could get dangerous for them this marble here for Chelsea is looking pretty good but it's died and oh it nearly made it and how are these two Chelsea balls snuck ahead they haven't made it down to the bottom though and could we get another shock here not at the moment we can't all the marbles are just oh no oh here we go and we're off it's 1-1 one, one. it's 2-1 Chelsea now they're fewer sneaking through oh it's 3-1 it's 3-2 all the goals going in now. I think it's going to end here. It is indeed. It's going to end here. Bournemouth 2, Chelsea 3. Cracking eighth game. Game number nine. A massively important London derby between Tottenham and Arsenal. Both teams have started the season pretty atrociously. Tottenham currently second bottom with one point from their first three games. Arsenal with only three points from their first three games as well. Nowhere near the top of the table where they'd be expecting to be sitting even at this early stage but there's still time to make a comeback and they need to get some points on the board here against their main London rivals here Tottenham. Lots of Arsenal marbles here bundling their way down the course but they're getting held up and Tottenham ball sneaking ahead of them here. Arsenal really cannot afford a defeat here again. Three points from their first four games is going to really not help their title chances at all this season and there are Spurs ball all around this one Arsenal marble here. In fact, the three Spurs balls are getting away ahead of these, these guys. This is danger all, all round. Any of these sneak through here, this is a problem. But how have Arsenal got through that first? God knows. But this is still very dangerous. Arsenal, Tottenham equalising. How have Tottenham not scored another one? They have now. It's 2-1. It's 3-1 Tottenham. This is a shocking result for Arsenal. This one finishes Tottenham 3, Arsenal 1. Spurs out of the bottom three, but Arsenal getting very close to it. The final match of game week 40 is Wolves at home to Newcastle. Wolves. Four points from their first three games. Newcastle currently nine points from their first three games. Six goals scored, none conceded. 
Now the only team left in the league who have not conceded a goal. And with Wolves storming away in this one, it looks like maybe this is the end of Newcastle's clean sheets, possibly. But who knows? Can Newcastle find a way to make it 12 points from 12 and go at least joint top again? In fact, if they win this one, they will go joint top regardless on goal difference. So a win here for Newcastle will get them top. But Wolves making the early running onto this final obstacle. They've made a bit of a mess up with this one here, though. But they've still got balls are plenty down here. But as usual, this horrible obstacle at the end, they've, they've, they, it's easy to mess up. Newcastle have snuck in, and now they're away. It's 1-1, one, one, they've conceded finally. And Wolves may cause issues to Newcastle as well. It's 2-1 Wolves. It looks like they're going to win this one now. Barring an almighty last-minute turnaround, there's not going to be one. And Wolves win this one. It's Wolves 2, Newcastle 1. So at the end of game week four, it's Chelsea who lead the way. The only team now have still got a full 100% record. Four wins from four, 12 points on the board. Villa's draw with Everton sees them in second with 10 points, while Newcastle's defeat at Wolves sees them on nine points. They're the top three at the bottom of the table, however. West Ham still that a win or even a point. Four defeats in a row now. Just three goals scored, 12 points season, minus nine for them while Ipswich and Arsenal and Tottenham quite surprisingly have those three mentioned there are struggling at the bottom end Tottenham and Arsenal especially surprising but at least Tottenham's winning against Arsenal pulling them out of the bottom three anyway if you enjoyed this one please make sure you smash like on the video please subscribe as well for the many more marble race videos I've got coming very very soon and until next time guys thank you ever so much for watching this one and checking it out cheers all bye